Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I just randomly decided to vlog. It's Friday night. I'm just gonna vlog my weekend like normal. Um, I just got in a package from Petula. So I wanna try this stuff on and show you guys because I've never tried their stuff but I've heard amazing things about them. But right now I have self tanner on and <laughs> those are very light colors. So I need to rinse my self tanner off first. And then we can try that stuff on. And then I think I'm gonna make banana bread, which I feel like I make banana bread every single weekend now, but it's so good. We literally eat it in like two days. It's ridiculous how fast we eat it. And then when Kyle gets home, I'm going to make pizza and salads for dinner. So I'll show you guys all of that. I just put on the Petula set and guys, I absolutely love this. First of all, these leggings are so freaking cute. It's like a white camo, but the material is so soft. It has like, it's almost like seamless type of material. I love it. The waistband is super thick, which is good. And the sports bra is so cute. By the way, the leggings are a small. Sports bra is a medium. Very happy that I got the medium and the sports bra. Um, and then you guys need to see the back of this look at the back of this sports bra how freaking cute is that i am obsessed i need this sports bra in like 18 different colors <laughs> um but yeah i absolutely love this it is so cute i'm gonna try on the jacket now so let me show you guys that here is the jacket i'm actually surprised that this fit this is a small. I usually get mediums and anything like long sleeve because my arms usually don't fit, but they do. And this is a small. I think it's really cute. It's really flattering the way that the waist is. It's good for high waisted leggings. I can't tell if it's supposed to be cropped or not because it's kind of like an in between a crop and a knot. But I think it's good for high waisted leggings because there are the leggings and then it hits like right above. So. It's good because you can still see your butt. It's not like it's covering your butt if you want to still be able to see your butt. <laughs> um, but it's really cute. It's kind of like, I don't know, it looks like windbreaker material, but it doesn't feel like that. It feels like normal athletic material. But it's super cute. I was not expecting to like the jacket as much as I do. And it does have a hood as well. So, overall, very impressed. I finished the banana bread, so I'm about to put that in the oven. And I also made our pizzas. So I have one pepperoni and one cheese. I just used thin crust that you just buy from the store. And then I used this sauce. I like the sweet sauce for pizza. And then I just used mozzarella cheese and like an Italian blend of cheese and some pepperoni. So I'm gonna put all this stuff in the oven for dinner. We have the final product here of the pizza and the salads. I just used this salad mix and I just didn't put croutons on mine because I don't like croutons, but this is it. And then here is the rest of the pizza and the banana bread is also done. Good morning guys, it is Saturday morning. I literally fell asleep last night at like nine on the couch and then we went to bed and ended up waking up at like 6.30. So I got so much sleep, a lot more than I usually do during the week. But I am always ready. I'm always ready to go to the gym. Like as soon as my feet hit the floor, getting out of bed. I'm ready so i like i already have my gym outfit on but on saturdays i go to the gym with kyle so we have to wait a little bit because he doesn't like going right away so he likes to have a cup of coffee and like chill for a little bit but i'm ready i'm like i want to go um but i figured i would show you guys my gym outfit i just have this um zip up jacket on from the old gymnastics days so that's not a part of it. <laughs> um, I have these Buff Bunny Live Leggings in the color Passion. Let me see, it's like a really hot pink. They're looking more red on camera, but they're hot pink. Um, 
I absolutely am obsessed with these leggings. As you guys saw from my Buff Bunny try on, they are freaking amazing and they're so cute. I love the booty contour. I think they're super flattering and they're just so comfortable. I think I'm gonna buy like all the colors in them, honestly, because I really, really like them. And then I have on this white sports bra from Alphalete. And it's like the try one that has the three straps in the back. We just got back from the gym. You guys always ask for the workouts that I do. And I have them all posted on my Instagram. So if you ever want to see what workouts I do, I post them all on my Instagram. And it's all of my full workouts. It's not just like one or two exercises. It's the full workout that I do. Now I'm going to shower and get ready because this hair is honestly, like what is that? This hair is just atrocious. So I need to shower and get ready. Decided I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby. I was gonna go to Home Goods, but our Home Goods is just like kind of far and I didn't feel like it. And I forgot that we had a Hobby Lobby like down the road. And I don't think I've ever been to a Hobby Lobby, but a lot of people say that they have a lot of good like decor stuff. So I'll show you guys what I am wearing. First of all, for jewelry, this is a necklace that I wear every single day. This is from Tiffany. Um, these hoop earrings are from Amazon. Um, I just got them actually. Um, for my rings, this gold one is from Amazon and this one is also from Amazon. And then this band is from Tiffany. So there's that. And then my daily bracelets, these two are also from Tiffany. This is the outfit for the day. I don't know if I love it or not yet, but we'll figure it out. So um, I just have the Nike Court Low sneakers on. And then these jeans are the mom jeans from Abercrombie. I wear a size 27 in these and then I just have this like wife beater crop top on from PacSun and then this flannel is a boyfriend flannel from Abercrombie as well. So that is the outfit for the day. I didn't find anything. It was just like a lot. It was really overwhelming and everything was just like too like themed for me if that makes sense it was like very um i don't know a lot of this stuff was just kind of like tacky i feel like <laughs> i don't know they had cute stuff for like kids rooms that were like ballerina themed or like football themed that were really cute but i didn't find anything for like our house plus they had a ton of christmas stuff out um and you guys saw they had like a hundred different pumpkins and it was just like way too much for me. <laughs> I couldn't handle it. It was just like way too overwhelming. So I think I'm going to just go to Home Goods anyway, even though it's a little bit further. I can't really decide though if I want to go to Home Goods or not. Ooh. Um because Kyle and I are also planning on going out and getting like a drink and an appetizer for the like four o'clock games. So I don't know, let's see what time it is and then decide. I'm at home goods. <laughs> I made it, I asked Kyle, I, was, I called Kyle and I was like, should I go? And he was like, just go. So <laughs> I'm here. Hopefully I find something. I'm notorious for going somewhere and not buying anything because I'm so cheap and I don't feel like buying anything. So I will literally spend like two hours walking through a home goods and then walk out with absolutely nothing. So hopefully that doesn't happen since I made the trip out here, but we'll see. I'm going in. <laughs> not to be dramatic, but I need this lamp. I don't know where I would put it, but it is so amazing. <laughs> I just got done in Home Goods. I really didn't get anything. I got a new knife because one of my big ones is like really dull, I guess. Um, I got a pizza cutter because last night when I made pizza, I realized I didn't have a pizza cutter and I had to cut it with a knife and it was really difficult. And then I got loofahs and I got another pumpkin candle. They're like 
wasn't really that much. They didn't have a lot of good like fall decor. I feel like it was kind of like picked over. So kind of a little bit of a waste of a trip, but <laughs> at least I got a couple of things. I mean, I've had like a new knife and a pizza cutter on my list. So at least I got that stuff, but still no fall decor. Maybe it's just like not meant to be for me to decorate for fall at all. I might just like give up at this point. <laughs> I feel like when you're looking for decor, it's always really hard to find what you want. And then when you're not looking and like you don't want to buy anything, that's when you end up finding everything. So maybe if I just stop looking, then I'll end up finding what I want. <laughs> I've been the worst vlogger. I forgot to vlog like everything after I went to Home Goods yesterday. So Kyle and I just went out to eat to get some food and watch the college games. And that was pretty much it. Then we just came home and like relaxed. But it is Sunday morning now and I'm starting meal prep because I didn't really do any meal prep yesterday. So I'm making a beef stew in the crock pot, which is one of my favorite things to do for fall because it's like warm, it's quick, it's easy. So this is what we got going so far. So I have probably like three pounds of beef cubes in here. And then I have three frosted potatoes just cubed up. I have two cans of these diced tomatoes, no salt added. Um, and then a little bit of beef broth and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. So that's all I'm putting in there for right now just because it's really full. So I'm gonna put it on low and wait until everything kind of cooks down a little bit. And then later on, I'll add the carrots and some seasonings, but this is what we got going on right now. Now I'm going to start a like taco pasta thing just because I have a lot of like black beans and corn and stuff left over from a corn salad. So I'm going to take that stuff and make a really quick taco pasta. I just looked up the recipe. It is a vegan recipe, but it's not why I picked it. I'm not vegan. Obviously there's three pounds of beef <laughs> in the beef stew, um, but it just looked good and it was easy because I already have a lot of this stuff like chopped up from the bean salad. So I basically just have to like rinse off the dressing that I have on there and then um, cook pasta and like put it all together with salsa. So super easy and it will be good because I like any sort of like Mexican type of meal. So I'm gonna do that now. The taco pasta is done and it was so, so easy. So all you do is Take whatever beans you want. So I have black beans and kidney beans. And then I have corn and a can of diced tomato with green chilies. So you mix all of that together, rinse all the beans off and everything. And then you just make the pasta. I use the, um, let me get it. I use this protein pasta. Um, and then I just did a box and a half of the penne. So I cooked the pasta and then I just mixed the bean mixture and the pasta together. Put a can of salsa in there and a little bit of taco seasoning. And now I just have it on the stove on low so that everything can mix together. And that's literally all you do. If you wanted to, you could add like chicken to this or ground beef, whatever you want, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. Just made the overnight oats and the protein that I always use for them is the Bomar cinnamon roll protein. So all it is is half a cup of old fashioned oats, um, chia seeds, like probably like a tablespoon of chia seeds, a little bit of cinnamon, one scoop of the protein, and then I use the almond cashew protein milk by Silk. And then you mix all of that together. And then I just added on top strawberries and coconut flakes. And then you just stick it in the fridge and the oats will soak up all of the milk. So much food this morning, but I just made breakfast. So this is like a little egg scramble. It's spinach, peppers, onions, a little bit of pork roll and egg whites. And then I just have half of an everything bagel with veggie cream cheese on top. This is what happens when you think that you don't need a cart or you don't get a cart at Target because then you think you won't get as much. Then you just end up carrying a bunch of stuff. So I just need to start getting a cart every time. <laughs> I 
I did not get a cart, which was just such a rookie move, honestly. I'm kind of living my best life with my Starbucks drinks yesterday and today. It's not healthy for you. There's a lot of caramel sauce in here, which I love their caramel sauce. Fun fact, when I was little, my mom used to get me like the squeeze bottles of caramel sauce. You used to be able to buy them at Starbucks and she would get them for me for Christmas and I would literally just like squeeze them into my mouth and eat the caramel sauce like plain by itself and I would keep them in my room and I would just like eat the caramel sauce <laughs> which sounds disgusting but I loved it. Um, so I got an iced caramel macchiato with almond milk. Instead of the normal vanilla pumps I get sugar free vanilla and that's it. Um, so it's not great for you, definitely not, especially with all the caramel sauce, but it tastes really good and I wanted something sweet. So I figured I would just go ahead and, and do it. I got two seasonal coffees. So I like this Green Mountain brand. I feel like it's a little bit stronger than other brands. Their dark roast is like insanely strong. It's really good. So I got the cinnamon sugar cookie one and then I also got pumpkin spice. So I'm pretty excited for those. And then for our bathroom, I got this vanilla oil diffuser. We had a candle in there and I accidentally dropped it and it broke. So I decided to get this instead um, because then it'll just like smell good all the time. And then I also got a new bath mat for our like master bathroom because ours is just getting gross. Last thing I got was this cute little pillow. So the one section of our couch that's like the bigger section, like the bigger corner, I felt like it could use one more pillow and I wanted to get something fall. So I thought that this was good. It's like a little bit like understated too, but I also feel like it could be just like all the time because this like cream color matches all of the other pillows and it's not like too in your face fall where it's like, you can only have that during fall. It's not like it has like pumpkins on it or anything. So I'm gonna put this down and I'll show you guys what it looks like on the couch. So this is what we got going on. So I have the two pillows there. I added that pillow there. And then I just have the two over there with like the throw. I was gonna get another throw blanket. That's like a like rusty color like that, like a rusty orange, but I decided not to. So. I think it's cute. I flipped around that pillow because it, it's the same as this and I thought it looked kind of weird with the like other stuff on it. But um, these pillows I got from Target. These ones I got from Home Goods, and then that one's obviously Target. Over here I just added the little pumpkins and then I have our other little pumpkin candle there. I was gonna put those little pumpkins in here, but there weren't enough. So I don't know if I should order more. I got them from Target online. Um, I don't know if I should order more to actually like fill that or just kind of like leave it how it is I'm making a broccoli mac and cheese. So it's pretty much done I'll just explain to you guys what I did All you do is you cut up broccoli really really tiny and cut up half of a white onion and put a little bit of garlic in the bottom of a pan, a little bit of olive oil. Let that cook while your pasta water is boiling. Put your elbow macaroni in. I use the Barilla protein um, pasta. So you make that and then you drain the pasta once it's cooked. And then in the pot where you have the broccoli and onion and garlic, then you add in a cup of the pasta water, a cup of milk. You can use any milk that you want. I use this silk protein almond cashew milk um, so you put that in with the broccoli and then you add in the pasta and then you just add in a ton of cheddar cheese and then you just keep adding the cheese and the milk until it's like a consistency that you like and now i just have it in the pot like making sure that everything is melting and that is all you do for it it's super easy it really didn't take me that long and it looks pretty good i also like hate broccoli so i think that this is going to be a way for me to like eat broccoli and i also have the beef stew still cooking in there i added in the carrots and some salt pepper onion powder garlic powder i think that was it so that is still cooking so once that's done i'll just stick that in 
um, containers and then we'll eat the broccoli mac and cheese for dinner. That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.